This is Jeff Weiss. Um, one of the students in class just notified me that the Unit 9 presentation was cut off at slide 13. I apologize for that. I don't know what the issue was, but I'm going to record from 13 through the end. It's just a few slides and try to pick up uh, from where I left off before. Uh, but one of the issues facing nursery um, production is protection from the elements. Um, especially here in the upper Midwest, uh, protection from cold and wind is important. Uh, this can be accomplished uh, in a number of ways. Uh, snow is actually uh, usually pretty good protection for, uh, uh, for plants, but uh, uh, snow drifts can be uh, uh, managed through use of uh, windrows and snow fences. Um, uh, containers are um, vulnerable to uh, extreme cold and rapid temperature ex uh, changes so it's good to mulch them in or otherwise insulate them from uh, uh, damage or from uh, uh, temperatures that can cause damage to uh, exposed roots. And then uh, the other things that can happen in the winter are winter splitting and sun scald from uh, rapid fluctu fluctuations in temperature and uh, windrows and uh, 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 shading, shade cloth, uh, and mulch are some of the common uh, techniques used to protect against these hazards. So there's a um, couple of main techniques for field production of uh, woody plants and uh, especially trees. Um, bare root is uh, a, a rapidly expanding method where uh, the plant material is harvested and the roots are, are washed and uh, all of the soil is removed uh, prior to shipping. Uh, uh, bundles of bare root materials can be uh, uh, can be can be uh, stored and shipped for a period of time and it makes the uh, uh, transportation uh, much easier and more efficient. Uh, but the predominant way of uh, uh, selling and uh, uh, producing and selling uh, woody plants is through still bald and burlap, also called B&B, &B, uh, where the material is field dug, usually with a tree spade, and uh, the soil around the root mass is uh, preserved and wrapped in burlap for transport. Uh, the type of soil that works best for B&B uh, &B production is uh, soil with quite a bit of clay so that that root ball will hold together um, uh, so during the uh, period of wrapping, transportation, and storage. Uh, and uh, in, in the case of B&B uh, &B production, uh, two more items uh, of note. Uh, first is that uh, the uh, plant does need to keep uh, need to be kept uh, moist. Those roots uh, are uh, vulnerable after uh, being uh, uh, traumatized by by digging, so they need to be, that that root mass does need to be kept uh, moist. And secondly, um, uh, the uh, rope and burlap, uh, or at least the rope, needs to be removed. I've actually. Uh, seen uh, plants, uh, trees installed in uh, uh, natural areas where the uh, uh, all of the roping was uh, still in place around the tree and of course uh, that is going to strangle uh, the stem and smother the, the roots uh, uh, if that is left in place and it's very sloppy uh, installation work. So um, you, in your assignment 910, had an opportunity to get into uh, some of the business issues um, facing uh, uh, greenhouse and nursery businesses. And uh, I think that they are uh, important for you to consider um, if you are um, looking at um, a career in um, growing horticultural plants. Uh, or even if you are uh, uh, hopeful of becoming a uh, landscaper, 
because um, they are significant and uh, uh, well uh, some people uh, are making a, a good living in the uh, uh, horticultural production plant production industry a lot of people are struggling uh, with uh, production issues cost issues uh, marketing issues competition issues and uh, uh, many of the jobs uh, offered in the industry are um, part-time, seasonal, uh, low-paid uh, jobs. So uh, the, the, the more you can inform yourself about these business issues, uh, the more likely you are to be able to prepare for a, a successful uh, career that will both uh, provide uh, satisfaction and learning opportunities and also a, a decent livelihood for yourself. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing your uh, work on uh, your visits to the greenhouse and nursery and hope that you'll dig in a little bit to these uh, uh, business issues and uh, uh, consider them uh, as you do your career planning. There are, um, uh, take that, st uh, that thought a little bit further, um, the four cost uh, or the four areas of uh, issues that I've kind of identified here are um, costs and I guess it really doesn't matter how much your costs are as long as you can uh, uh, sell your production uh, for more than those costs um, but to the extent that you can manage uh, your costs uh, you can be more profitable. The competition uh, is uh, fierce in the uh, horticulture business um, the um, and it comes from both local um, uh, sources and then uh, increasingly the big box stores. Um, marketing has to take into consideration changing consumer tastes uh, and the cost of uh, advertising and promotion and then labor uh, as in most businesses is the largest single cost driver and uh, it's a uh, uh, always a balancing act to find uh, uh, enough labor uh, that has the right skills at the right cost and just uh, uh, at the times when they're uh, when they're really needed and of course this list of issues does not include all of the uh, uh, issues around producing uh, great plants um, and we've spent a lot of time talking about um, the plant growth environment and uh, uh, some of the uh, strategies of selecting and manipulating um, uh, plants uh, so that they can be um, uh, produced and marketed um, efficiently and profitably. So with all these uh, issues and opportunities uh, there are some businesses locally that are thriving and growing in this environment and I look forward to hearing uh, in your and reading in your um, assignment about uh, uh, how some of these uh, companies and firms uh, how they do it. So that's now it for assignment 9. I apologize for this being uh, broken up into two chunks but there you go and uh, to be continued next week with assignment 10.